Hello, today I'm going to show you how to convert weapons from Grand Theft Auto 5 to Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Um, you need a load of programs for this, including um, OpenIV, GTA 5 PC, uh, a program known as YTD, YTD, YDR to DFF, Col, um, any TXD editor for San Andreas, CAMS GTA scripts and 3DS Max, any version from 2008 onwards. Um, the download link to most of these will be in the description below. I say most because I'm not putting a download link to GTA 5 or 3DS Max. Anyway, once you've downloaded OpenIV, start it up, and then select Windows, Window Grand Theft Auto V. If this is the first time you're running it, you need to um, browse for your GTA 5 EXE, which if you if, if you have it on the non-Steam version, it'll be C, Program Files, Rockstar Games, Grand Theft Auto 5. If you have the Steam version, it's Program Files 86, Steam, Steam Apps Common, Grand Theft Auto 5. Anyway, once you've done that, um, go to... Well, first of all, decide what weapon you want, because because GTA 5 contains weapons in two different places. It will be in either Update X64 DLC packs, or it will be in X64W DLC packs. Anyway, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'll be using MP Lux DLC RPF X64 models, CD images, and then weapons. Now this part um, you'll have to do yourself because, like, you need to obviously need to have in mind what weapon you want to convert. So obviously double click the YDRs to get a model view of them. This is the um, assault. Uh, that, this is the assault rifle. So once you decide on a weapon you like, extract it to the desktop. You also need to do the same. Whoops, wrong one. You also need to do the same for the Mag One or the Mag Two file. And um, for this one, we'll just go with Mag 2. Now, you can also do this with any attachments as well, such as a scope, um, suppressor, etc. Now, once you've done that, you need to extract the textures. Just double click the YTD, click Export All Textures, PNG, and extract it to a folder of your choice. For the for this um, this tutorial, I'm doing TXD Builder, and this one I'm going to extract my textures too. And then do the same for the original YTD. PNG and extract it there as well. Now, obviously, the bigger the TXD, um, I mean, the bigger the YTD, the longer it might take. Don't know what happened there. And now, once you've done that, you can exit out of OpenIV and then go to your YTD, YDR folder and then put in your two YTDs that you extracted. Now double click the EXE here and you'll see a command prompt window pop up like so. And it'll usually be done with in, in about, um, it'll usually be done as you saw there is really quick so it'll take about 0.5 seconds if that. Obviously the more files you have in there the longer it'll take but it's usually really quick. Close that and then you'll have a DFF, a col, maybe a TXD. And what you need to do is you need to get rid of the YDR, col and any txd files here so all you should have are two dff files here now what you need to do now is you need to start up 3ds max now once 3ds max has started up go to max script run script gta tools GTA DFF IO. Then click up here, and then import DFF, and browse for your newly converted DFF file, which for me would be in tutorial, and import both, import both or all of the DFFs in this folder here. Now, as you can see there, that's um, part of the assault rifle. They'll just need to import the mag. Now, as you can see here, it, um, you need to manually move this. Right-click, move, and position it correctly. Just a little bit. Once you've done that, click this here, and click vertices well vertex and then press control and A and you should see them all turn red click attach 
then click on the other part. Do this until like your gun is one model, if that makes sense. Now unclick attach. Now import the original GTA San Andreas DFF for the weapon you want to replace. For this one I'll be doing the um, um, AK-47, so... Weapons. Import DFF and then import your original San Andreas DFF. So this one will be AK 47 DFF. Now, obviously, depending on, um, depending on how high quality it is, it might take a few seconds to load in. But once it has, do not move this one here. It should come up as AK 47 only click your edited DFF now rotate it to get it in position with the original San Andreas DFF this might take some time to do okay so when you got it in the position that you want click the original San Andreas DFF click vertex control and A then attach and then click your GTA 5 weapon. Now click OK. And then press delete. You should be only left with your with your well original GTA 5 weapon. If you haven't and you accidentally deleted everything, press Ctrl and Z. Unclick attach, unclick vertexes, and make sure well, click your original GTA 5 weapon, then click vertexes and make sure these dots are red. I mean are blue, sorry if they're red they will get deleted alongside if they are red just click anywhere and it, they should turn back blue anyway once you're left with this go to export DFF click skip collision and export DFF and name your DFF what you want so this one AK 47 then save Now you can close out or minimize 3ds Max if you want. Now for the texture, you can either do this two ways. You can use TXD Builder or alternatively you can use um, TXD Workshop. Now for this I'm going to use TXD Builder because it's a lot faster and imports everything for me already. So just click this. Then we just rename this to AK47. Now import this into GTA 5, I mean not GTA 5, into GTA San Andreas via mod loader or or editing the GTA 3 image. So I'm going to just make a backup of these two, put them in my games folder, and then just drag and drop these in there. And you're done. That's pretty much it. Now let's see how it looks in GTA San Andreas.